Tonight is a bittersweet night for us here at WFMJ. After 49 years, our colleague Glenn Stevens has decided to hang up his microphone and call it a career. 21 News anchor Derek Steyer recently sat down with Glenn to reflect on his time at the station and here in the Mahoning Valley. Coming up tonight on 21 Action News at 11. For nearly five decades, Glenn Stevens has been one of the preeminent voices and faces in the Mahoning Valley. This is 21 Action News at 6 with Glenn Stevens. His 49 years at one station, a symbol of longevity you just don't see these days in the news business. I think back on 49 years, every single day has been different. But Meyer and Stevens in the morning happen every day. Glenn's career in Youngstown began in 1971, working on the radio side of WFMJ. In addition to McDonald's... In 1990, the radio station was sold, and Glenn moved over to the TV side to anchor the 6 and 11 o'clock news. I started on manual typewriters. We didn't have computers. We didn't have Wi-Fi. We didn't have Internet. We didn't have text. We didn't have email. We didn't have cell phones. We didn't have GPS navigation. You had to go out and dig up that story. Well, the underground slippage continues here on Lisbon Street. And storytelling was a passion for this award-winning journalist. From Black Monday to the rise and fall of Jim Trafficking. Next year is a contract year for the UAW. Glenn was part of every major news story in the Valley and is set to retire during one of the biggest news stories many of us have ever seen. What's really ironic is the pandemic right now is 310 days old. How often does a story stay in the headlines that long? Never. Sitting on his couch and looking back on a remarkable career. Our Glenn Stevens is here. Glenn Helping. says one of the most rewarding aspects was being part of the Children's Miracle Network Telethon. I think I hosted for something like 15 years. And it was just a, a, a wonderful thing. We're going to make up a summer salad for you, nice and cool. If you were an early riser, you probably caught him, along with his wife, Regina, every Friday on WFMJ Today for a segment called Stir It Up. My wife, Regina, she's an excellent cook, and she can finesse a recipe like nobody I know. I'll tell you, it's one of the best salsas we have ever tasted. And we did over 500, 600 segments and never repeated a recipe. I am the commandant of this camp from Xerox. Glenn is a man of many talents, very active in community theater. He does a ton of volunteer work and has been on the board of directors for a number of organizations. Another title that he's proud to carry, cancer survivor. He was diagnosed with bone cancer in 1983. A lot of people don't realize that I lost the use of my left arm because I have no shoulder. This is a prosthesis that I take off every night. Good evening, everyone. In the news, a not-so-peaceful Christmas Eve in Ellsworth Township. Through it all, Glenn never backed down. A hard-nosed, aggressive reporter who hopes to be remembered as a trusted journalist. Having integrity uh, in your reporting and being fair. Uh, being fair and always trying to look at both sides of a story. During an emergency, a life... I would hope that uh, they would look back and say... Yeah, he did a good job. He was fair, he, he had integrity, and um, he was uh, somebody I could trust. Enjoy retirement, Glenn. You earned it.